Fuck. It's going good. I'm feeling very cool. Thank you. Yeah. That's a nice, you get that reaction everywhere you go, pretty much? Yeah, it's weird. Delis. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Delis, you <know>. yeah. <laughs> One guy. Woo! Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm a little shocked because you show up on the show tonight, you yeah. dress very well. You, know, you, look, you look spiffy, yeah. you look great. You're one of those uh, celebrities who's who's been making the worst dressed list a yeah. lot. I've made it pretty consistently too. I feel pretty good about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Do you, you think it's an honor, actually? I did. You know, my mother uh, called me up the first time it happened and said just that. She said, "I bet you think that's cool, right?" Yeah. And I said, "Well, you know, that's a dubious honor, but I'll take it." And she uh, she said, "You know, people look at that and they don't think you look cool. They think who raised him." And, um, That's so, so funny. It's just like I the know. first thing a mom would say. I know, I know. It really upset her. She told me that she had dreams uh, from my great grandmother coming to visit her and right. telling her how upset she was about it. <laughs> it really it got very personal. I, I, I probably shouldn't have taken it that direction. No, no, no. But what, <laughs> Ghosts, things but what, like that. But what's so funny is that I remember my, when I went off to college, my mother said, you know, if, if, you, if, you're, uh, if you're eating manners, the way that I ate my food doesn't improve, you'll make no friends. I'm like, Mom, you know, this isn't, this isn't 19, you know, 15 anymore. Uh, my mother had me when she was 180 years old. Do you have friends? No, I have no friends. Uh, yeah. Mom was right. Yeah. I used to just pour the food into my open mouth. Um, now, I, you know, it's strange because we were actually, we heard that you're always making the worst stress list. And, and I, we, we went and we looked at photos of you arriving at things. And I, I, don't, I don't see it myself. Take a look. This is a photo of you and your, your lovely wife. Oh, my. <laughs> I like that. And then we found this other photo of you going to a movie premiere. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was the prom. Yeah. That's what you're wearing underneath that suit right yeah. now. Uh, now, I, uh, I understand that you, you're an interesting guy. You've been on the show before and we talked. You like to write. Yeah. You're, you know, uh, you're a thoughtful guy. That you, you have this practice of writing letters to yourself. Well, I used to do that when I was... You used to do it. When Dead Poets Society came out... Uh, you know, I was 18 years old, and it, you know, it, it really altered the course of my life at the time. You know, it was kind of a popular movie, and mm -hmm. I got really paranoid that something would happen to me and I would turn into somebody that I would really hate, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, and so I used to write these little letters to myself about, uh, you know, it, it, all, just these idealistic kind of versions. And right, I, like stick to your dream, don't sell yeah, out, that right, kind of thing. Yeah, right, exactly. And you would, you would mail them to yourself. <laughs> don't start dressing like the people <laughs> yeah, right. you and you, dressed as. You would, start, you would mail the letters, and are the letters like a time capsule? You're supposed to... Well, I didn't mail them. You know? I, mean, I, don't, I didn't have a time machine, you know, but I, I would... Uh... <laughs> you know what's so weird? Is I would have mailed them, I guess. <laughs> I'm kind of stupid. I'd be like, oh, there we go. Oh. And then I'd mail it, and then I'd get it back. <laughs> what? Oh! <laughs> yeah, I think I'd probably have them in a drawer. I, Give them in a drawer, right? Yeah. Are you going to look at them someday? Like, you know, open them up and... I guess. I mean, I, I think a lot of it was about, for some reason, I actually really wanted to have a family. I think, now that you're asking me, I mean, I, I think that's what they were about, that I hope I didn't get totally just sucked. You know, a lot of, a lot of young actors don't make it past 21 or 22. Or they, they do a movie or two, and then suddenly they, they sort of get full of themselves, and yeah, they and get then, ground up. You know, and you end up like 35 and a drug addict and having a terrible time, and I was really trying to avoid that. Right. But I haven't. I'm 30, and I just got out of rehab. And, right. and, uh, and you're dressing well. That's the important thing. <laughs> but, yeah. If that's one thing rehab can teach you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Now, you, uh, your life's changed a lot. You married. Married to Uma Thurman. Everyone knows that. You have a kid. Mm -hmm. has, does having a kid, does it make you sort of a little more conservative, a little more, you know what I mean? You, it's one thing when you're like a 21-year-old kid, or as you were saying, an 18-year-old yeah. kid. Yeah. When, when you're married and you have a kid, does that change you in some way? Are you sort of more serious about things? I think it does. I don't know. You, you don't have kids, do you? Not that I know of. No. <laughs> I have a legal team combing the country for <laughs> babies with giant pompadours <laughs> that are moving too quickly. Yeah. Goo, 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 you know. <laughs> That's one uh, uh, uh. I don't know. It changes you some. I, I think that um, it does. I, I get a lot more, you know, 
I get, especially having a daughter, mm -hmm. I get a little bit paranoid about, you know, when you walk around the streets, there's so many images of young women being totally uh, objectified. I mean, the, I start to sound like you mean a like Republican. magazine, magazine yeah. covers. Magazine and... covers. Everybody looks like they're a porn star, you know, and everybody's. Those are porno magazines. Yeah. I, I gotta stop buying those. I gotta. What's stop happened to them. these porno magazines? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the cover of these porno mags, and it's just like when I was a kid, they were wearing different nothings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It, I don't know. I don't know how it changed right. me. It's 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 still changing. But me, you're really. noticing that more. You're noticing like, okay, there's too much sort of. I know what you're talking about, like, definitely the standards have changed. Even legitimate magazines now, they, you know, the women are wearing next to nothing. Yeah, you, wouldn't, you never saw Meryl Streep, like, showing her butt crack on the cover of... Am I, can I say that? She was on the cover of Butt Crack magazine. <laughs> yeah, no, but that was much later in her career. When Sophie's and, Choice came uh, out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she talked about it there. Well, uh, you were... Let's talk about this project. You're the, you're the youngest actor to, to play Hamlet. On film, on, which is, on film, on yeah. film, which is kind yeah. of a cool thing. Hamlet was, of course, played by Olivier, who at the time was forty. Forty. Yeah. And I, when I read it, I always kind of imagined it more as a, a Holden Caulfield or a, you know, I mean, it, troubled it, youth. Yeah. yeah. It seems more like a young man's kind of emotional journey. So that was one of the fun things about getting to do it. Mm -hmm. you know? We have a, uh, a clip here. Is there anything you, you need to know for this? Well, the cool thing about the movie is that it's it's we it's all set in New York in two thousand. It's kind of all adapted and so instead of a play within a play you know Hamlet did a play to try to catch Claudius right, and right. so in this one he makes a movie right. so it's a movie within a movie as opposed to a play within which a play which is a cool idea so is it what, what what's it in, in the in the clip is this you making the movie or no this is me showing the movie okay. um, I've made this film and now I've brought everybody in to watch the film I've made that's gonna reveal Claudius's guilt all right let's take a look at this uh, clip from Hamlet Hi, uh, lady, shall I sit in your lap? Oh, no, my lord. I, I mean, my head up on your lap. Hi, <laughs> my lord. Uh, I think you have any country manners? I think of nothing, my lord. Hmm? Well, that's a fair thought to lie between a maid's legs. What is, my lord? Nothing. You are merry, my lord. Oh, God. What should a man do but be merry? For look you how cheerful my mother looks, and my father died within two hours. Nay, it is twice two months, my lord. So long. Nay, then let the devil wear black, for I'll have a suit of sables. Oh, heavens, died two months ago and not forgotten yet. Why, well, then there's hope that a great man's memory may outlive his life for more than half a year. It's always, in any context, it's right? always cool to hear those speeches. I know. Yeah. Ju Julia Stiles is a great actress. She plays she Julia plays Stiles. Yeah, and she plays Ophelia. And, and we had really uh, Kyle MacLachlan came through. And, yeah, and, he and plays Claudius. Bill Murray plays Polonius. It's, it's very neat casting. Yeah, it's, uh, it's fun. Hamlet opens tomorrow in New York and Los Angeles, and then in select cities May 19th. Yeah. Ethan, congratulations on the family yeah. and everything. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Oh, thanks for doing it. Thanks yeah. for coming by. Ethan Hawke, everybody. Jerry Springer is coming up. We'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you.